So let's toast to that, shall we? Although maybe not with this bottle, which is really evaporated. Hello and welcome to My Tiny Bottles, the project where I'm exploring my grandmother's legacy of miniature liquor bottles, one tiny bottle at a time. I'm your host, Tammy Coxon. Bottle number 84 is Jim Beam, not one of the fancy labels like Jim Beam Black, which was first released in 1978, nor the line of small batch bourbons launched by renowned master distiller Frederick No II in the late 1980s, which helped revitalize the entire bourbon industry. Nope. This is plain old Jim Beam White Label Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, which the Beam family and their descendants have been making under this name since 1938 and under other labels since 1795. Mine isn't that old, of course. As best as I can tell, it's from sometime between 1994 and when Grandma stopped collecting bottles in 2006. Given the level of evaporation from its sad plastic bottle, I guess it's from the first part of that time frame, but I don't really know. One of the reasons I can pin it down to that time window is because of that name I mentioned earlier, Frederick No II, better known as Booker No. Jim Beam is proud of their family legacy, and since the 1960s, they've featured the faces of various Beam family master distillers on the label. For much of that time, the label advertised six generations of distillers, but featured only five faces. The side panel of the label on my tiny bottle, though, has all six, starting with Jacob Beam and ending with Booker No. Born in 1929, Booker joined the family business in 1951 and assumed the mantle of master distiller at their Boston, Kentucky plant in the 1960s. He retired from active distilling in 1992, but remained a spokesman for the brand until his death in 2004. In 1994, the company revised the bottle label to include his face and name and to give me a nice clean starting point for dating this bottle. Thanks, Jim Bean. Although, given that date, I'm not sure why it doesn't have a government warning label on the bottle, but such are the mysteries of this project. In 2007, they revised the bottle again, this time to include the current master distiller, Frederick Booker No III. He took over the title in 2007, when Jerry Dalton, the only non-Beam family member to serve as master distiller, retired. Jerry's not on the label, of course, but neither are others in the Beam family line who held the role. Carl Beam, for instance, was named master distiller in 1945. He was Jim Beam's brother and one of the people who trained Booker. His kids, Baker and David, also went on to be head or master distillers, but they're not on here either. Meanwhile, we do have T. Jeremiah Jerry Beam, who was only given the title as an honorary role later in life. Researching this made me angry on Carl's behalf, so if you know the scoop on that story, leave a comment, okay? My guess is that it makes a better story to be able to give the appearance of a straight line of succession. The name change from Beam to No is because they're the descendants of Jerry's sister, Margaret. As I learned reading Reed Mutenbuller's book, Bourbon Empire, bourbon is a spirit of stories, and it mostly doesn't matter if those stories are actually true. And the Jim Beam family tree makes a heck of a read all on its own. Because, as Chuck Cowdery goes into in great depth in his 2004 book, Bourbon Straight, the uncut and unfiltered story of American whiskey, the Beams are all over American whiskey. Heck, a separate branch of the family founded Heaven Hill. From Maker's Mark to Barton, Michter's, Willett, and Eagle Rare, there have been Beams involved in one way or another with a shockingly broad array of American whiskey brands. So let's toast to that, shall we? Although maybe not with this bottle, which is really evaporated. Thanks for watching this short take on a bit of Jim Beam history. And there's a whole lot more, but since the brand history is available in a lot of places, I wanted to take this episode in a different direction. But if you wanna know how Jacob Beam came from Germany and established an American whiskey dynasty, check out the links in the episode description. It's a good story too. And while you're down there, like, subscribe, comment, and share. You can do all those things on social media too. I'm at My Tiny Bottles on Instagram and Facebook and Tammy LC on Blue Sky. You can also check out my website, mytinybottles.com for more info about this bottle and all the bottles. Cheers. Mm -hmm.